New figures are about to be released from a national study showing that 60% of Territorians are overweight or obese. The Territory has the highest sport participation rate in the country, but nearly half of Territory women and a third of Territory men still aren't getting enough exercise. Many Territorians are turning to new boot camp style exercise programs in a desperate bid to get in shape. State Line sent Letitia Lemke to find out what this new fitness craze is all about and whether it actually gets results. <laughs> it's just before dawn. I'm hot, exhausted and wondering just how much longer it'll be before this comes to an end. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> a lot of people like the idea of coming down and doing sort of more military style. I think it's hard and they get messy and a lot of people like getting yelled at as such. They're running back right to the end. Same as last time. This is boot camp, the latest way to get fit. A military style outdoor exercise program that claims if I stick with it, I'll see results. Okay, on your feet, up there. And John back to the casino. When would I start to see a difference? If you come two okay. sessions a week, probably about two weeks, two to three weeks, as long as you're eating properly uh, and you're doing other activities, of course, as well, like running, um, you're running, walking, stuff like that. One leg over the other, push down the calves. For the past four years, uh, Timothy time. Lee has been helping run this boot camp on Mindle Beach. I've joined up because I want to get fit and lose weight. Timothy Lee says most people should be able to complete this program, but after a half an hour of running, jumping and crawling, I have my doubts. Yeah, I'm fit. You, know, you don't want to be hard on someone that's like really unfit and then you know, they you know, pull a hamstring or get injured and then they won't be coming for eight weeks. So that's the thing where you just have to go, okay, no log, come up with everyone else, trying to keep them up together. Okay, log's down over here, walking over to the planter box. People come to boot camp for a range of reasons. Some want to lose weight, others have a career goal in mind. Yay! We've had about uh, 10 people join the police force from coming down here. We've got uh, police coming down, uh, two of the fitter people at the front. Today they they just done their fitness test for the police on Sunday and they've passed, so they should be in probably January next year intake. One, go! Legs out straight, shoulders back, up. And down, try and get a bit more straight relief. Okay, making sure your knees do not go over your toes, arms down front, chest up, down and up. Holly Goodall back, runs a back. special boot camp for new mums and their babies. This former athlete and army reservist says helping people reach their goals is rewarding. Obviously there's been a lot of weight loss, um, people coming back from back injuries and things like that who were told they probably couldn't run or couldn't do this or couldn't do that and they've been able to get the strength back to do certain activities they possibly thought they could never do again. Two, one, go! Holly Goodall knows what coming back from injury is like being hit by a car during a triathlon in Queensland in the 1990s. She claims boot camp can help people reclaim their lives. Went down a few sizes, probably 97 to 77. 20 sizes, <laughs> it's huge. 16-year-old Warren Ferrari and his mother, Lisa Scalavay, are boot camp success stories. 12 months ago, they were both overweight and unfit. I used to lounge around all day, pretty much just go to school, come home, go to work, that type of thing. I was a smoker, overweight. My fitness was maybe a 15-minute walk. <laughs> it was non-existent. All that changed when Warren Ferrari decided to take part in a boot camp program and his mother joined up in support. Initially, they found the training tough going. Pretty intense. Beach runs, shuttles, everything like that. Uh, doing as many push-ups and sit-ups you can. You just don't want to let yourself down. You're in with a team and you can see them pushing themselves. So you go, oh, I just want to go that little bit harder. I want to be up with the fit people. One year on, and their lives have changed for the better. Lisa Scalavay has given up smoking, and both of them are spending time at the gym. I suppose from June till December, her and her son both lost 31 kilos in that time. It was great, and she's since then new goals, and she's now joined, well, she's tried it for the police force on the weekend, easily passed the fitness test, and is just, I suppose, waiting on the call up. Warren Ferrari and his mother admit they couldn't have achieved these results through boot camp alone. 
A healthier diet and a personal training program also played a big part. I'd like to see you do more things than just a boot camp. You want a healthy living plan, so you'd want to eat healthy. You just want to do uh, activity throughout the day and not lead such a sedentary lifestyle. Up, that's three, down. Up, that's four. Another morning, another workout. Down. Up, three. To get the most out of the boot camp program requires some dedication. Fast speed. Good job. That's the way. That's two. That's three. I think I've given it my all, but at the end of the session, I want to know what's the trainer's verdict. One more, one more, one more. Oh, let's go. What do you reckon? Is it hope for me? Oh, uh, maybe. You're a bit slow at the end there. <laughs> but yeah, I think you'll be right. A few more sessions, you should be right.